Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving. We are always and forever evolving. Hello, Taurus. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for the year of 2022, my loves. We're stepping back in another three days, Taurus, to see what the feelings are. See how the energies have progressed here. Definitely, I go live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights. If you would like to ask one free question there, you can join me live every Tuesday, Thursday. I will be going live tonight. If you have a free question that you want to ask or one question is free, any additional questions is $5.55, all right? The details will be at the end of the video. All right, you can click on to set your own personal reminder, honey. Okay, and join me and hang out with me tonight, my loves, all right? Now, again, the reading here today is going to resonate for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node placements as a Taurus and a guy. All right, and also, cross watchers, welcome back, my loves. You are welcome here as well. All right, so let's start with your higher self, Taurus. We're going to see what messages, spirit, your angels, your ancestors have for you with the soul's journey all right oracle deck and then stick around i'm going to pull a romance card and a hidden truth in regards to your person how they feel towards you and then we're going to pull the raw tarot deck out and get further details for you as well all right so let's see here sun moon rising venus north and south no what do we have for my sexy ass tarzans for the taurus for the kings and the queens for the God and Goddesses, what's the messages for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, for the Bulls? What's the messages for the Bulls, Source? What are their higher self source during this time needs to know? What their higher self source needs to know during this time? Service. This is right up your alley, Taurus. Okay, if isn't if it is an Earth energy all over this card, just noticing the color green. All right, I'm sure the color green is very significant for someone. All right, are you needing to wear the color green? All right, you're needing to work things out from your heart space. We know the color green is the heart chakra. All right, and it's in regards to working things out from your heart space. All right, service. I feel good when I can help others. Beautiful. Yes, Taurus. You feel good when you can help others. All right. So that's your soul journey um, lesson. The soul's journey lesson. Okay. So your lesson today. All right. Is to reach out to others. All right. And help others. Help others that are in need. All right. Help others that are in need. All right, beautiful. So we're going to shift the energies towards in regards to your person. We're going to get one oracle card in regards to the hidden truth. All right, we're going to see what their hidden truth is in regards to you and how they feel towards you. We're going to see what are their current feelings right now in regards to the hidden truth here and how they feel towards you emotionally, spiritually, and mentally here. All right, but those are messages there from your higher self. Your higher self, your angels, your ancestors are wanting you to provide service. All right, rather than service in healing, conversating with someone, helping someone, being a service to someone. Okay, that's what your higher self, your angels want you to do for this month of January. All right, for 2022. All right, and then again, click that notification bell. We'll check back in the next three days, Taurus. And see what sir and see what um, angels and ancestors would like for you to do the next three days here as the energies progress. All right, Ashe, Ashe. So now let's check out the hidden truth here. Let's see how your person is feel. Let's see what their hidden truths are towards you, towards them. Okay, let's do one card for their hidden truth. Ooh, we got two cards out here. I am not available. All right, wow. So your person is telling you, Taurus, that they're not available. And some of you all wonder why you're not able to reach out to your person, why you're not able to communicate with your person, okay? I feel like they are not available at this time, all right? I will wait for a sign from you. Wow. So this person, even though they know they're not available, they could be in another relationship, all right? They could be tied up with someone. They could be just simply busy doing a lot of work, all right? And what they do keeps them very busy, 
all right but they are willing to wait for a sign from you wow beautiful and at the bottom of the deck we have you speak to me through music wow so you and this person towards you communicate with each other through music telepathically all right so definitely Taurus energy is definitely connected with music okay I understand my daughter is a Taurus and she is always singing, okay? No matter what she's doing, she's singing, she's humming, she's doing something, okay? So I feel like music is very significant for you, Taurus, or your person here for sure, okay? Wow, beautiful. So let's get a romantic card here. All right, let's get a romantic card, a love romance card here to see how... They are feeling towards you as well. And then we're going to pull a raw tarot deck out. And then definitely stick around. We'll pull the tarot deck out to get further details in regards to the situation here. All right. So, again, your person is stating right now that they are not available. However, they will wait for you and wait for a sign. Okay. So, whatever sign that they're waiting for. Because, again, you guys are doing a lot of telepathically talking and communicating with each other in the 5D group. All right, Taurus, this is some way, even if you're not connecting with this person, you're not around this person every day, you are definitely communicating with this person in the 5D room. I am not surprised if you two are not having dreams about each other and meeting each other in your dreams, okay? Wow, source, angels, ancestors, and I feel like this person may not be available here in the 3D room, but up in that 5D room, you two are communicating with each other, and this person, again, is waiting for a sign from you, all right? Let's see here. Let's get one romance oracle card here one romance love oracle card here let's see here so it's what we have oh slow down spirit they want me to try that again cause is going real fast Woo. all right we have codependency all right addictions are affecting your romance life okay so some of you all that i'm speaking with that have a particular addiction all right or just simply a pattern or way of doing things all right, which represents codependency here. Okay, so right, if this is you, Taurus, or your person, okay, but there is some type of codependency here that this person or you are depending on, right? That that's depending on the bills to be paid, depending on this person to pay your bills, or depending on in regards to holding on to something that is a addiction or is not needed or necessary for this relationship or once in the past, I feel like as well towards this person was being very codependent. So they may was depending on someone else, all right, to do for them, to take care of them, all right, or vice versa towards this is you and you were codependency or you are being codependency in a relationship with someone, all right, just take it where it resonates on whose side of the fence here, all right, but there was definitely some codependency here in regards to the relationship or the connection with this person or with you, Taurus, all right? And at the bottom of the deck, we have, wow, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holidays time together, all right? So, wow, this is in regards to your person. Again, again, you guys are doing a lot of communicating here in the 3D realm, all right? I'm sorry, in the 5D realm. And I feel like this person is reminiscing about you a lot. All right, they're reminiscing about you a lot here, and they're recognizing that they may have some codependency, or you tours may have some codependency. But spirit, your angels and your ancestors want you to know that in regards to this codependency, it could be slowing you down or affecting your romantic life. So if it's something particularly that you're depending on, and it's something that you would choose over a person or choose over relationship towards if this is not you, your person, and this is what held your person back, and this is why your person is not available, because again, they're being codependency on someone else. Rather, if it's another person in the relationship, rather, if it's a family member that they're holding on to and being codependency, and they are expecting this person to assist them financially, mentally, or physically, and they're codependent on this person, is why they're not available for you, however, Taurus, or vice versa, Taurus. This is you being codependent on someone, and you're not available for this person, but this person, however, one of you are not available, and then the other you are waiting, waiting for that sign from your person, okay? Wow. All right, so let's give me a card here for the raw tarot deck, and then definitely stick around. We're going to pull the tarot deck out here to get further clarifications. 
Definitely, if the reason is resonating with your spirit and your higher self, Taurus, don't forget to like, hit that big fat thumbs up, show spirit some love. All right, and definitely, if you're new here, my loves, definitely hit that subscribe button and be a part of family where we love and we evolve simply together and we have fun, right? And then definitely hit that notification bell so that way you can be notified for when your reading does come out every three days, okay? And we'll definitely chit chat soon. Let's see what card here. Ooh. I was very shy. Wow. So this person isn't meaning to you that they were very shy. I'm hearing nervous as well. So this person was shy and nervous is why I feel like for some of y'all, they are taking a long time to come to you or because they may be in code pitted on this other person or this other relationship that they may be involved in or whoever they are still exchanging their energy with because they're very nervous. You make them very nervous and you make them very shy. All right. What else your source? And we're going to pull the tarot deck out here. What else? What else feelings can we get here, Source, in reference to Taurus in their person here, Source? Ooh. We have P.S. I never get over you. P.S. I will never get over you. Or excuse me. P.S. I never got over you. Oh, my goodness, my loves. Okay. So this person here is, again still having these feelings towards you in the 5d realm they are definitely thinking about you okay even though you two are not together all right and this person is not available towards but they will never get over you all right and they never got over you to the ones that are separated from this person all right it's what they're telling you i'm not wasting no more time wow so this person is not wasting any more time i feel like you will be getting communication from this person definitely eventually here because they're already waiting and I feel like they're not going to wait any longer. All right, is what I'm getting here. And we also have, I'm not wasting no more time. So I feel like there is going to be a time, I feel like around this month of January or here very soon, Taurus, you're going to be hearing from this person, okay? Last card here, let them hate on our love. Yes, Taurus, okay? And I feel like, again, this is what was holding your person back. And while your person wasn't available to you in the first place because they was concerned of what others would think they were for some of you all in a relationship or somewhere still codependent on someone else or something else towards okay and again they are not being available but now they are i feel like having change of plans here okay i won't be surprised if i see the two of swords of something coming out the two of swords the two of wands or the two of cups okay because i really feel like they're making a decision to come towards you because they can't wait any longer here and they don't want to waste any more time okay they're not concerned anymore in regards to how people are going to feel towards you too or vice versa this is you Taurus, and you're feeling this way you're not wanting to waste any more time and you're letting go of people that you did codepend codepend on or vice versa this person okay wow wow definitely like this video if it's resonating for you my loves oh my goodness let's go ahead and pull the tarot deck out here to get further details i'm so curious to see in regard to this energy here towards let's see your source angels provide me more clarity Ooh, thank you that was right on time i say the sun card some of y'all this person may be a leo all right but this is the sun card here this is referencing to the way they feel towards you all right, and they definitely again want to start fresh. All right, this is new energy. This is starting all over, okay? And some of you all, this person may be, again, someone that's a fire sign here. Or again, they may be younger than you as well. Some of y'all, you all may have had kids together here, okay? But we have the sun card. They're definitely wanting to start over, start fresh with you. And they're going to be, again, coming towards you with this offer. I said that. They're going to come to you with this offer, with this cup here. But however, Taurus, I still feel like you are indecisive here or you are still in a situation where this person may have hurt you, hurt your feelings here with the cups. All right. Dealing with your emotions. And this is the energy I feel that you are in towards when this person come towards you and offer you this cup. OK, because this person might have disappointed you once before. They may have caused a lot of regret towards you. All right. They may have caused pain towards you. You may wasn't happy with the decisions that they made. All right. And this person, again, is wanting to come back towards you. And I feel like it's going to be in reference to this person not being available. And I feel like they're going to want to inform that to you and communicate that to you. Taurus. Wow. Those were some great details. Let's get a little bit more. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more, Taurus. 
Why do we have the Fourth Cups here, Source? Why do we have the Fourth Cups here for Taurus and their person? Why do we have the Fourth Cups? Ooh, thank you, Spirit. We have the Six of Wands. Wow, this person definitely views you as successful. This is Sagittarius energy here. Some of y'all, this person may be a Sagittarius. Okay, or again, they may have fire placements in their chart. As a Leo, we have here Sagittarius or an Aries, okay? But this energy here definitely sees you two being very successful, right? Being a power couple, all right? They know that you are very worthy here with the Six of Wands. I mean, look at you, all right? Right, if I'm talking to a divine feminine or a divine masculine, you're very successful, all right? You've come through and conquered a lot here with the Six of Wands, all right? And you're aware of that. You know that, all right? And this person knows that as well is why they can't and will not ever get over you. Right? If you two decide to reconcile and be back together or not, this person will always think of you. This person will never get over you, all right? Wow. What else, Taurus? Let's get one more card here for you, Taurus. I love you. All right, let's see here. What else do we have? What else do we have, Source for Taurus? Ooh, we have three last cards here. Wow, yes, we have the Ten of Wands. Again, here go more fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, all right? So I feel like this person is done, all right? They're putting the burdens down. They're no longer going to take on additional burdens from people, places, and situations here. And that's what this card represents, okay? Putting all the burdens down, wrapping the cycle up, all right? This is coming to the number 10, all right? Completing a cycle, completing people that no longer resonate with your spirit or your higher self here. All right, yes, and walking away. So I feel like this is the energy, vice versa. Your person, Taurus, that is walking away from people, places, and a situation here that no longer resonate with their soul, with their heart, with their emotions. All right, they don't have no love for this person anymore. They have no desire. I'm hearing, wow, okay, Taurus, this person has no desire anymore to be wherever they were at. And if this person was being very codependency with this other individual here, they no longer feeling that way anymore, Taurus, okay? Or vice versa, Taurus, this is you. Wherever you were at, whatever you were doing, you're no longer feeling that way towards this particular person, all right? You're not involving yourself around these people anymore with these ones coming out here, okay? And you're definitely not exchanging your energy no more. Last card here, because we have the Ten of Swords come out again, all right? We have the Ten of Wands and we have the Ten of Swords. That lets me know mentally... You're not dealing with these people no more who try to do these mind games, all right, and play over you and disrespect you and portray you and hurt you and stab you in your back, all right? You put those people in those places and those burdens down and you realize that they was nothing but burdens, okay? And again, this is that codependency energy. So again, your person is definitely putting the energies of codependency people down, all right? Or I feel vice versa towards you coming to realization and you're putting these people no longer that you want to deal with down because they have caused too much burden, pain, sorrow, and hurt, all right? And that all makes sense of the energies here and how anything that's coming towards you. For some of y'all, this person may feel like they're a missed opportunity, all right, or vice versa you. But spirit, your angels want you to know that this is all done and over with. The worst is over towards, okay? So you go out, allow yourself to feel better here, and go out and help others that are in need, Reverse this energy and provide it with love and go out and be a service to others, okay? That's your element. That's what you are in norm, normally doing every day, right? And I love you for that, Taurus, okay? We need you, Taurus, okay? So this is not the end for you. You go out and get what you're deserving of. It's been the end of the cycle for you and this person or these energies. Now you go and get what you're deserving of, all right, Taurus? Wow, beautiful. So this has finished and completed your reading here for this day all right definitely check back in hit that notification bell we definitely be checking back in the next three days to see what the messages are for you all right and again if you enjoyed the energies here definitely like subscribe hit that notification bell and definitely click on that video all right set your personal reminder and join me live tonight i will be going live and hanging out with you guys and again if you have a free question that you would like to ask in regards to this situation i'll be happy to answer it for you all right, and we can definitely hang out there, and I love you so much. Always remember your health is your wealth. Drink plenty of water. Take care of yourself, and I love you, Taurus. Bye-bye.